everyone, welcome back. Okay, today I have a little demonstration for you. Um, Beth Bender Beauty was very sweet to send me some products. I'm going to show you what they sent me. And I'm going to show you how they work. Uh, if you saw a couple of videos back, you know me, I don't know how many videos. I had the um, cat eyeliner on. These were the stencils that I used. So they did send me, it came with a cute little bag. They sent me uh, one, two, three, four, five brushes. So there's a fan brush, um, eyeshadow brush, kind of like a liner brush here. And then this is definitely for, say, liner. Nice brushes, not bad. Um, also, the Sweet Cheeks Highlighter. It has really cute packaging. And this is called Pixie Dust. And here swatch very soft and silky smooth so there is pixie dust um also let's go metallic pink nude and this is a cream eyeshadow here well it's like um not a cream it feels like a cream though yeah. it's a beautiful shade I have absolutely no makeup on. I have a mirror in front of me here. It's blocking me. Because <laughs> I want to be able to try to show you these stencils of how they do work. <clears throat> they also sent me the eyeliner. Their gel eyeliner is called Eyeliner Frosting. And they sent me Onyx or Jet. So it comes in a little jar like this. It's black. But for the purpose of this, I might do one with black, and I think I'll do one with blue. Oh! Sorry about that. My fly's back, and he jumped on me. Bad fly! <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Me and bugs don't do well. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. I will link the site below, obviously. They have multiple different sets of the original cat eyeliner stencil and smoky eye stencil. The gel eyeliner retails for about 14 there's a starter pack for around 10. There's a deluxe stencil set for 24. And then the highlighters go between like 14 to 20. And they did have a code across the top for like an extra 15% off. Where are the other stencils? Okay, so these are the two stencils. How am I going to show you this? Okay. Well, here's on the card. So you can see it on the card. So this one here... This is so you can do, see how it says like smoky eye and then bottom liner. So this is, this is going to be tough. I, I got to turn this light on too. So you could put this underneath, you know, your eye and hold it here if you want to smoke out your liner, which is great. And then this side for the smoky eye, you would just put it, you know, on your eye here and fill it in. This is extremely flexible. Oh, he is attacking me. Bat fly. Shoe fly. And then this is the cat eyeliner one. So it does have the shape of your eye. So what you have to do is put your eyelashes kind of through it. So I'll show you here in a minute of how to do that. And then you can turn it around and use this side here. Again, I think it says lower or top liner. So if you want to, you can just hold this, you know, against. But this is neat. I actually like this. I need to practice more with it. I, they sent it while I think I got it right as I was getting the tonsillitis. So I haven't had much time to play. I even emailed them. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just haven't had time. But when I'm sick, like I said, I don't come down here. So this is a set here. The original cat eyeliner stencil and the original smoky eye stencil. And then they have these other ones, which are on, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. It looks like this. So there'll be two, one for your left eye, one for your right eye. So these were the original ones that I was playing with here. And you can reuse them multiple times. So you can see like, okay, this one is for my right eye, because that's where you know, the liner's going to go. You could cut this down if you need to, so it doesn't go, you know, that far in. But I'm going to try to show you how to apply 
both. So hopefully we can see so I'm going to zoom in. Yes, I have no makeup on. My hair's, you know, mess. And you're going to see some wrinkles and all that. But I am 48 years old. Okay, so let's hope we can do this. <laughs> okay. So I try to usually do the bottom portion here to get it here first. Now see, now you guys get a real good shot of my eyeball, actually. See how my lid comes all the way down to here? This is why I have a problem with winged eyeliner because it's trying to go across this hump and I actually have a little scar here. So with people that have all the space and don't have the hooded part coming, that's why they can get such a crisp line. And that's why I feel with mine, you'll just see like this little out here, but if I look down, then you can see the wing. But normally in real life, I'm sitting here looking at you, not looking down. But these are great for beginners too. It's a great way to learn how to do your winged liner. And let's see if I can do this. Oh, how am I gonna? All right, I gotta try to make sure you're here and in here at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna try to get that under. And I have no glasses on, which makes this even harder. So this part here now, it depends on how much lid space you have of where you want this to stick to. So if you have a lot of lid space, obviously that's where some girls can get the really thick line going. And I can't because if you just look at me normal, I barely have any lid space here. You see what I mean? Just to relax my eyes. So if I just put all black there, that's where it's going to get. You lose the eyeshadow that I'm wearing. Okay, let me try to get this on here real quick for you. And I gotta turn the mirror over to the 10 times. <laughs> Which Nobody likes flipping that mirror over because then you really see everything, but it's easier for me to see what I'm doing here. And like I said, I don't have a lot of lid space. Get that there. it down now these are sticky so when I first peel it off the packaging here I put it on the inside of my wrist and you can reuse these up to three times and I did use these at least three times trying to you know get to play with it so now I have that down and it goes against my thing here and I'm just gonna we're gonna use an eyeshadow for this one I'm gonna use the blue eyeshadow in water bowl that I got um, from, is this Sugar Fox? It's one of the new ones. And, and this is where you can really have fun of doing rainbow looks, you know, however you want. I'm just going to try to get some shadow in here. I figured like the blue, you might be able to see better than a black. That little fly is being a little jerk. everybody has their own way of doing their wing due to your eye shape okay so now I just use shadow on that like I said you can use shadow you can use liner and then you can just take the edge here peel it off now you see it didn't really pull because I initially had put this on my wrist to take off some of the tackiness let me put this down I'll put it on where the other one is So now even I need to check it here. Okay. But not bad. See that I just have the little where out peaks and then it can go. So this is where you can, you know, add more blue in if you wanted to, to, you know, connect it all the way down. But like I said, with my eye, I like to keep it as thin as possible. So you still can't see the shadow that's behind it. Now, obviously to me with these little white ones, you're not going to want to have your makeup on because then it's going to take off your shadow that you have on. But it is a great way to learn and see what works for you. You can, you know, extend that wing if you wanted to. All up to you. It's always your makeup. Play the way you want. You want to rock a wing out to here? Rock it, girl. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Now I'm going to use their little liner brush and their, um, the Onyx. 
Now this is a little tricky too, the little plastic. It's like anything, it just takes practice. And even I need to practice more. I haven't worn a wing in years just because I know, like I said, to me, I don't think it looks that great on me. But you girls all loved it and thanks for all the compliments on that. Oh, I was really appreciative because I just don't do a wing a lot of times. And a lot of times I'm just doing my makeup in the morning to go to work. I don't have time to be playing with wings. I'm just trying to slap my makeup on and get out the door. So on this part here, <clears throat> you just have to, and before you put any, now this you could use after you have your makeup on, but don't put your mascara on. Because you need to get your eyelashes through it. And then again, you're going to find where you want to put it, the placement. And then you could just hold it in place. It's easier if you're looking down, obviously. Oh God, I hope you guys are seeing this. Okay, so you can see, and there I took, it's, it's way too much. Yeah, I'm gonna move it down a little. We're gonna go right there. But this is extremely flexible, but it's just finding, you know, your easiest way to hold it into place of whichever two fingers you want. All right, I should open the eyeliner. I'm a dummy. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, please let me open this. It's coming. Sorry. Oh my God, I'm such a dummy sometimes. Only me, guys. Wait a minute. Got it. <laughs> oh, I'm a hot mess. Okay. Now, being that I can't see what I'm doing here, their liner is extremely pigmented. Or the frosting, whatever it's called. I'm just, I'm dabbing it off a little bit. Okay. So, now I lost where I was going here. Okay. So, now this, am I in the camera? Yeah. Again, you just place it in and fill in the little dot here. And like I said, it's anything that takes practice. So then you just, boop. Now see, that gave me a bigger wing. You know what I mean? Now see, having the hooded eye, this is where I do have, I'm gonna switch my mirror back here. <laughs> it's too much. But you could see, how now if I look straight at you, all you're going to see is that, even from the side. But when I look down, then I have that, you know, beautiful wing going. So it is a fun product. I really enjoy it. I thank you, Beth Bender Beauty, for sending this to me. So maybe when you guys all, you know, slap some lashes on, maybe get the wing going a little crazier, play with some different colors. Let me push you back so you don't have to scare you looking at my <laughs> wrinkles and everything. But it is a really cool invention. And they've been around since like 2005. So I'm like, how have I not ever played with this? But it does work. It definitely works. And like I said, this one, and then it's just very easy to clean. Like me, well, I use my beauty so clean. I would just give it a spritz. <clears throat> little tissue. Wipe it off. And then you just flip it over for your other eye. So now you take it to this one and same thing. So this is portable. You can take it with you, travel with it. And since it does have all these other, you know, different wedges and stuff here, like right here, you probably could play, you know, play with it. Just play and have fun. But it's definitely a fun eyeliner. I like both ideas of <clears throat> the peel off. And maybe once you're, you know, where it's not as sticky, like right now, this one would be my third time. Maybe I could put on, you know, my shadow first, lightly put this on, peel it off, and then just, you know, fix your shadow a little bit. And I don't see why that would be an issue at all. But this is a nice bent brush that they give me. I love bent eyeliner brushes. And when I was putting on the shadow, it was just a pointed brush. No big deal. But thank you, Beth Bender Beauty. That was, it's a lot of fun. I haven't worn a wing in years, and I'm glad I got to do it again. But they do give you, you know, full instructions, how you can use it on the bottom. 
lashes. You know, see here's how you can get colorful. It's really neat and I've never played with anything like this and they, you can just buy like the sheets like this or just this set or probably the whole little set all together. But always have fun with your makeup. You know, I just have fun. That's all that matters. Okay, everyone have a fabulous day. I will see you all soon. I have another video for you I'm going to make here in a little while. And But go check out Beth Bender Beauty and they sell all kinds of products, but I'll link them below for you. All right, everyone have a great day. Thank you. Bye.